star Mariah Carey revealing her secret struggle with bipolar disorder for the first time, telling People magazine she's been living in denial for almost 20 years. And Amy is here with more on why she's ready to share her story now. Good morning, Amy. Good morning to you, Michael, and everyone. And there has long been concern about Mariah Carey's mental health following a series of high-profile public incidents. She says these have been the hardest couple of years I've been through, and now she is opening up about it after finally agreeing she needed help. She's pop music royalty with a one-of-a-kind vocal range. Mariah Carey's been ruling the charts for nearly three decades with 18 number one singles to her name. But through her successful career, fans have watched her personal ups and downs, more recently documented on her reality show Mariah's World, and even this bizarre 2016 performance on New Year's Eve amid technical difficulties. We didn't have a sound check, but it's New Year's, baby. That's okay, you guys. Now, Carrie revealing she's been hiding a secret struggle for nearly 17 years, a battle with bipolar 2 disorder. The singer-songwriter opening up to People magazine saying, until recently I lived in denial and isolation and in constant fear someone would expose me. It was too heavy a burden to carry and I simply couldn't do that anymore. Back in 2001, Carrie received her bipolar 2 diagnosis after suffering a very public emotional and physical breakdown. The star ultimately hospitalized. The disorder is characterized by unusual shifts between mood, energy, activity levels, and the ability to carry out day-to-day -day tasks. No, 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 Cindy, Cindy, let's go, let's one more thing. Go. And we give them positivity. Let's go, let's go. Stop. That was the same year of her whirlwind promotional tour for her feature film Glitter, which fizzled in the box office, and even rumors of an alleged suicide attempt, which her team has denied in the past. She spoke about her nonstop lifestyle on The View. I never took a break. I never learned how to just put myself before my career. I just didn't. I just started making records basically right out of high school and never stopped. Now, Carrie says she's receiving various forms of treatment to help cope with her disorder, including medication, saying, I'm exercising, getting acupuncture, eating healthy, spending quality time with my kids, and doing what I love, which is writing songs and making music. I can make it through the rain. Despite her sometimes tough journey, the music powerhouse is finding her inner strength with a positive outlook. I believe that everything happens for a reason, so maybe it just took me going through one of the hardest couple of years that I've been through in order to come out in a positive place on the other side. Now, one of the reasons why Mariah says she is sharing her story, she is hopeful that, and she says, quote, we can get to a place where the stigma is lifted from people going through anything alone. It can be incredibly isolating. It does not have to define you, and I refuse to allow it to define me or control me. So she is opening up and I think probably feels very free now that she shared this. I'm sure she's she taking over. And we're going to bring in the writer of the piece, People's Editor in Chief, Jess Cagle. And, and Jess, this takes a lot of people by surprise that she's saying this. So when was she first diagnosed? Well, she was first diagnosed, as, as Amy said, back in 2001. And she just did not want to believe it. You know, at that time, it was a very well publicized physical and emotional breakdown that she had and she just didn't want to believe it and and in her mind although it's wrong of course she thought that there was such a stigma attached to having bipolar disorder that she would you know that her career would be in so she didn't get medicated then she did not get medicated wow. then wow. wow so 20 years Almost. why why yeah. is she now coming out today now so she as you say she had she went through the hardest couple of years that she's been through and i i think you know we saw some of that there was a, there was a brief engagement there was an e reality show there was some professional upheaval and i think finally she got to a place where she decided I need to get help. And so she's recently been treated. She's in therapy. She's on medication that's working very well. And she got to a place where she was able to talk about it. She made peace with it. And also, she just didn't want to have this secret hanging over her because mm. part of the struggle over the past few years that she was so afraid that somebody in her orbit was going to tell this story mm, for wow. her. And so she took the opportunity to tell the story herself. She was very inspired by other people who've talked about 
mental problems that they've had. And she really does want to help people and kind of set herself free. Yeah, this is exactly what Amy was saying. And, and it is when you're holding the secret and then you reveal yeah. it, you, it's, it's very freeing. But you keep saying about how she was fearful that it would hurt her career. But I'm already, already hearing from people because I posted on Twitter we were going to be talking about yeah. this. And somebody even said, I've always loved her music. I didn't like her, but now I understand and respect mm. her. Right. I think it's going to help fans understand her. It's going to give people uh, a lot more respect for her because yeah. this is a brave, generous thing for her to do. And it will also help her get back into the studio mm. and make music, which is what she really wants to do. Mm. Robin, what do you say? What did your mama say? Make, make your, your mess your message. <laughs> and that's what she's <laughs> that's doing. What she's that's done. what she's, she's doing. And it yeah. is. It's going to really help a lot of people. Yeah. Always good to see you, Jess. Nice to see you guys. Right. Thanks. Thanks. Thank Coming you. up, we